so me and Drew, we went to we we haven't been to a concert together in a long time. And we finally went to a concert again Almost last ten week. years. Yeah, we yeah we went to see uh, Suicide Tendencies like ten years ago, and now we went to see the the great metal hardcore band Hatebreed as they play the Starland Ballroom. And I was shocked at how into Hatebreed you are. Yes, you saw me going crazy at that. Oh show. my god. Yeah, so it was a sight to behold. <laughs> so th- let me tell you guys, we saw Hatebreed at the uh, Starland Ballroom in uh, Sayreville, New Jersey. I got these two for one tickets. So I decided to, get, to sell one to Drew because I'm a nice guy like that. And uh, we and what, what's funny is, of course, that day it decides to snow. So I was like, this show's going to get canceled for sure. But it didn't. So it kind of remind me, even though I wasn't ever. Because breed fans yeah, are bitches. I know. It's, I think, like, in, when it comes to, like, Buffalo shows or, like, shows in, like, you know, Minnesota, they probably go through the same thing. Like, when it snows, they just, like, you know, put on their, like, you know. Leather jackets and stuff. Is that what the kids are wearing now? Leather jackets and, yeah. and, and chains. And yeah. they go to like the metal shows. It doesn't they're, matter. They're, they have switchblade uh, combs <laughs> and yeah, the cigarettes roll up into their sleeves. Yeah. Everything like that. Um, so we we checked out the show, and I actually honestly have to say, like you know, I don't know what how, what you thought, Drew, but every band there we had um we had um code code orange we code orange. We had uh, twitching t- tongues. We had a uh, dying fetus. Yes, an opening band which I can't. The Christian the Metal Act, believe it or not. What was yeah? What was the first band's name? Uh, that was um, Stagger. Stagger and but a... their logo made it look like it was Stagger. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's why I couldn't get the name right. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah. who are these guys? Yeah. Um, and then Hate Breed closed the show, and they were basically saying this is our celebration of you know our our. Perseverance or no Perseverance album? I think it was more a celebration of uh, satisfaction, satisfaction. Of death, of, death of Desire. Which, because that one is twenty years old, and Perseverance is yeah. fifteen years old. So let, let keep that in mind, you guys. That was that was put on the marquee that we are celebrating those two albums, and I'll get into my problem about that in a second. <laughs> um, so when they played, our problem, yeah, our, okay, cool. Our, they play, they so the first band. What did you think of them, Drew? Um, a typical uh, Starland Ballroom opener, a local band that is uh, not particularly any good. Uh, you kind of regret showing up early. <laughs> They actually just filled the quota of what a, a band like that should sound like. They weren't terrible. I didn't yeah. like absolutely hate it. I did duck out halfway through their set because I didn't right. really hear it anymore. Right. And then a uh, little side note, you guys. I actually was supposed to have a I, – I called and had a press pass for Dying Fetus. Uh, and let me allegedly. tell you guys right now. When you uh, Sorry, photo pass. Make sh- – anybody's out there listening – if they tell you you have a photo pass in the email, make sure you call and, and confirm that. He gets in the car <laughs> after telling me that he had a photo pass for Dying Fetus and says that... Bragged a little bit about it, but okay. They they asked him his name. He gave them his name, 
and he did not get any confirmation <laughs> on to whether he had that photo pass. So luckily, since your fiance came with us, I'm like, oh, I'll give my ticket to her because I'm getting this stuff for free. You know, I'm the big bad drill for hybrid radio. And then um, they were like, you know, uh, you're not on the list. So <laughs> fortunately, there was extra tickets, so it worked out. We got in, but from now on, guys, seriously, call and make sure you're on that list because you never know. You know, you might be or just to, email. You might be yeah, just email, email again. Yeah, email again. So you're like, hey, I haven't heard from you. <laughs> you did. Am say I you on this list or yeah, uh, yeah. what's going on with that? Right. And then um, I think my favorite band beside the the headliner we're going to talk about is a. Uh, Twitching Tongues, I thought they were Seemed great. Yeah, very up your alley. Because they were like a melodic, like metalcore band, and that's what I like that kind of sound. They're uh, they kind of sound like every um, New York hardcore band from the late '80s and early '90s that weren't really hardcore bands. Uh, your Life of Agonies, your Typo Negatives, Carnivores. I was about to compare to them Life of Agony, but I was afraid you're gonna yeah. you're gonna jump up, jump up those tables. No, I think that's what they're going for. <laughs> okay. It's it's very it's uh, kind of like um, emo with it, metal breakdowns. <laughs> Soothing to the ears, you know. <laughs> Sometimes you could use a little break from this, like yeah. constant yelling, for, like a whole like set, which uh, the other bands would do. But I'm not the only one. I wasn't complaining because it was definitely getting the crowd going. Circle Pit was like so big at Starland, like it basically encompassed the whole like you know dance floor. Um, and then I actually had I went to the bathroom real quick, and you could tell the bathroom was torn up too. So I know they were Circle Pit in that bathroom yeah. as well. And then um. <laughs> They were just they just destroyed that bathroom with that yeah. circle pit. Yeah. And I was like, you know, this crowd is kind of friendly. You know what? I bet you, Drew, that there will be no fights tonight. I told Drew that. And Drew's like, you know what? Let's bet. And I'm like, sure, Drew. How about 50 bucks? Yeah, and he's like, you know was, what? Let's bet a dollar. Just be, you know, it was, keep it, keep it was it. a lot of bands that my that, that where I came from was it was a lot of bands that were of two different scenes. It was four bands that each have a metal following and a, a hardcore following. Mm -hmm. And when those scenes get together, everybody's got a big and got to prove something. <laughs> so I thought I, I didn't want to bet you because I was hoping that, or I should say, I didn't want to bet you the, the amount you wanted to bet because I was hoping that I was wrong, but yeah. I was not wrong. So needless to say, I bet him a dollar, keeping it like, keeping it like, you know, the Duke brothers from like, you know, trading places, bet a dollar. You know, as soon as gentleman's I, bet, yeah, gentleman's bet. We're watching. I'm watching, and then, sure enough, I walk up to Drew like maybe ten, ten minutes after the bet. Said, "Here's your dollar." First, <laughs> first band, third song. Because I thought, like, as soon as I gave there me was dollar, two <laughs> fights, yeah. at the same time, yeah. that one fight was quelled, and then there was another secondary fight <laughs> where it was like. The people that were fighting, I guess their friends started fighting. <laughs> it was like a, a sharks versus jets type of situation. Yeah. Hence the you know the the comb like knives and stuff like that. Switchblade combs. 
So I thought, like, honestly, when we made that bet, you were just going to, like, just punch me in the face as soon as I shook your hand and say, give me my money. We, we fought. I win. Um, so Dying Fetus uh, played, and they're a three-piece, like, you know, deathcore. Oh, I can't say that word. You're mad. They're, they're, technically, <laughs> they're technically not deathcore, although they should be because they are a death metal band that has hardcore influences. Right. And that's what I found so interesting about this show. Mm. I was thinking about it, and... Even though none of the bands really sounded alike, they all have the same influences. Yeah. They're all into, like, the same bands, right. and they just took it different different ways. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't I didn't like them, basically, to say. I'm not going to... I'm not going to sugarcoat it. They were... Uh, everything, Too jarring. They, they were, yeah, were, yeah, they were... Everything that I get bored with in that sound. Um, and obviously, you guys will hear some clips from that. <laughs> That's all you constantly, need. Constantly, con yeah, and I'm. That's my. That's my. Uh, that's my. Not my Achilles heel, but that's my. That's what triggers me. That's when I'm sick of hearing that from bands like just going to the status quo sound and uh, formula of that sound. To be fair, they have been around for like 25 years. So, oh, so you're gonna say they invented <laughs> breakdowns? Like you know, before breakdowns, there's basically punk, pe Maybe. like Dodge pen uh, Pentos was the only thing when that broke down back then, and then it was them. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, um, they. That's fine. Um, obviously, I'm just bitter because they said I was on their on their photo pass, pass list and I was not. Yeah, so I know. I'm kind of mad at Donnie. about you're that. you're really petty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Now let's get to the headliner, um, Hate Breed, which you you skipped my... over one though. All right, let's talk about Code Orange. What... Oh, what what was the problem with Code Orange? Um, they didn't do they didn't do anything for me. Nothing. Nothing. Even more than I don't even like their name. Honestly. You dis you dislike <laughs> them more than Dying Fetus. No, I didn't dislike them. They just I have a, an, a I have an emotion for one band. The other band, I have, I'm just indifferent, mm. like you said. <laughs> so you didn't you didn't like their mix of of beat down hardcore and and power pop and harsh noise. <laughs>
that the ambient kind of sound they were doing? Yeah. Yeah. I, maybe that was what was not doing it not, for me. Not even the Power Pop songs. What did you play? think of them then? Instead of putting it all on me. <laughs> I think that they are a very interesting band. I And I'm, uh, I've been paying attention to them for six, seven years now. And each time I see them, they have new elements and they're constantly evolving. And Okay. Uh, there's... I, I don't know. I, I like I like '90s era <laughs> beatdown hardcore. <laughs> so uh, you know, I'm I'm into them. And then like the harsh noise and power pop elements are pretty uh, pretty interesting. Well, it's pretty safe to say that what I gotta do is I gotta start like you know listening to opening my mind more. So it's you my do. fault. Yeah, you do. It's my fault. You are very close minded. Can we get to hate breed now? We're gonna get to hate. Breed. Okay. So hate breed is what we were starting to see. You know that Connecticut. Dan? New Haven. New Haven, Connecticut. And they, uh, you know, they've been around for the scene for a long time. Perseverance is one of my favorite, like, you know, hardcore punk metal albums out there. You know, was tearing stuff up at when I was working at Sam Goody when we were closed. So we could not get any work done because it's time to clean up. Put that record on. You're not cleaning anything up. I'll tell you that right now. And You're uh, making a mess. Yeah. You're Just like a, that bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> and when a band says that they are celebrating an album you are required by by law by me to play every goddamn song on that Pit album. police you ha- yeah you have to play every song and then you gotta you can play your your new album later in your encore but that was my issue because what the band did was they they mixed up um satisfaction album and that album's like maybe like you know 15 minutes long and uh so i they're like we played the whole album and when they finished playing i'm like oh really i guess they, they played a 23 minute <laughs> album <laughs> We actually played it twice. <laughs> and then, um, then they said they're playing Perseverance, and they play like snippets from the album. Well, I went into into it thinking that they were going to play like half the album. Uh, they I, played a total of three songs. Yeah, that was that was harsh, man. Which fine, but like, don't say you're going to celebrate the album. Yeah, and what? like have it be like the 15th anniversary tour of this album. <laughs> told you but after the show we should have definitely went to that 20 year uh 10 year anniversary thing of that i, I dropped the ball on that but. i will say this i thought the set was perfect because so? i am old as <laughs> and i don't have time for long sets uh-huh. they played they played my favorite album in its entirety uh they played the three best songs off of perseverance and then they played two other songs that i kind of like then they played that one song that I fucking hate, and I was able to go to the lobby and go get money from the ATM so I could buy Twitch and Tongues records mm. when there was nobody out there. Yeah. And it was perfect. It was like, I don't know, 50, 45 minutes, 50 minutes, something like that. Yeah. I came I came back from the ATM, and they they were just about to play the Perseverance songs, and Jamie Josta goes, <laughs> we don't, we don't Finally do- Finally Drew is back! We don't now do- we play songs! <laughs> 
<laughs> we were all sitting there quietly waiting for you, too. <laughs> yeah. Everybody was looking at me. There was like a record that scratched. Um, I came back and, and I hear him go, we don't do encores. Yeah. And I was like, oh, Jesus, thank God. What do you think? I fucking hate, hate encores. encores. I cannot stand encores. Thought, Just I, make I, your yeah. set 10 minutes longer. I, I totally agree with that. But I I'm not was... going to scream for you to come back out because you're going to come back out. <laughs> Drew, you, you have three more man, songs dude. to play. Just play them. <laughs> you don't like the whole, like, we'll be back in a few uh, It's minutes. so fake. It's so self-indulgent. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I want to be like a, a person that doesn't actually say anything. Like, they just leave and it's like, okay. And everyone's like, oh, wait, wait, where are you going? Come back. <laughs> like, well, why'd you get off the stage then? That's the only <laughs> yeah. good thing is, is about encores yeah. is because there's always, like, easily, like, a quarter of the people that just leave. They're like, great, <laughs> great show. And they go. I was like, oh, I got a little more room in here. Yeah, I like I like um, I agree with you on that. Like the whole encore thing, like is so like you know staged now that they. Sh- but I thought it was really ballsy that they flat out said we don't do encores. <laughs> I thought that was fantastic. yeah, that was great. I loved it. So overall, Drew was saying that the, the show they played was- everything I wanted yeah. to hear and nothing that I didn't want. Well, that one song, I will. But be just heard. one song, yeah. no. And I, I was thinking that was about fun that. when they sang that song. I I remember telling you that I hate I will be heard. Yeah, until you saw me going nuts on that. I don't think it's that I hate that song. I think I've heard it too many times. It's like smells like Teen Spirit of the aughts. Okay. I don't, I've heard it like, what, hundreds of, if not thousands of times at this point? Yeah. and every But and, hearing it live is a different story. In every, like, mall, you always hear that song playing, you know. In the, it feels in the, like In it. the food court. <laughs> um, so, I, overall, good show, you think? I'm gonna I thought say, it was a great show. I'm going to say definitely a great show. And surprisingly, I'm like, can't wait for them to come back around. They said they must have heard us because they're actually going to be playing again. I heard that, yeah. Uh, with um, I think uh, Kandiri and someone else. In yeah, and uh, Kill Switch Engage. I think. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll try to go to that. We'll see. But awesome show, you guys. Check out Hey Breeding when they come to your town, and also check out Twitching Tongues and Tongue. Dying Fetus <laughs> and Code Orange. Make sure you're on the press pass list for Dying Fetus because they will f- you over if that. If <laughs> yeah, make sure to get your emails in. <laughs> yeah, yeah very, about, very sure. about your press pass, your non-existent press pass. Yes. Now is the time for me to rise. To my feet, wipe your spit from my face, wipe these tears from my eyes.